friends welcome back in this tutorial we will study about recursive descent parser the recursive descent parser is a top-down parser which uses backtracking so we have already studied in previous tutorial what a parser does the parser does syntax analysis now uh, this is the top-down parser this recursive descent parser is a top-down parser so how it does uh, the syntax analysis of a given input string it does syntax analysis of a given input string uh, it tries to find the leftmost derivation of given input string if the leftmost derivation of given input string is found then it means the given input string is syntactically correct right now what happens finding the leftmost derivation of a given input string is equivalent to constructing the parse tree for a given input string right and uh, this recursive descent parser it uses backtracking also now suppose uh, this uh, grammar is given to us right and now we have to do the syntax analysis of this string of terminals a c b now how this recursive descent parser works how this recursive descent parser will do the syntax analysis of this string of terminals a c b now uh, this recursive descent parser attempts to construct the derivation tree for this string of terminals ACB. So initially it will construct a tree having a single node S which is the star symbol of this grammar. And the input pointer will point to the leftmost symbol of the string of terminals whose syntax analysis we have to do so the input pointer will point to the terminal symbol a right so here what will happen there is no match so now you can see here there is no match this is the non terminal symbol s and this is the terminal symbol a so what we will do we will expand this uh, parse tree right which is now having a single node so to expanding this parse tree we will use this production rule as derives a a b so at the right side of this production rule we have three symbols a a b so this a a b they will become children of this node s now here you can see that input pointer points to the terminal symbol A and you can see here in this tree the leftmost leaf right it is also the terminal symbol A so it matches with it right there is a match so in this case what happened this input pointer will move to one position right now the input pointer points to the terminal symbol C in the string whose uh, syntax analysis we are doing right now here you can see that uh, next symbol is non terminal a right it is not terminal c right here you can see that next leaf in this uh, tree is non terminal symbol a it is not the terminal symbol c so here there is a mismatch so what we need to do we need to expand this tree right so we will apply the production rule of non terminal a so we will use this production rule a drive cd so c and d they will become children of this node a right now here you can see this leaf c right this matches with this terminal symbol which is pointed by input pointer right so what happens this input pointer will move one position right now the input pointer points to the terminal symbol b right so we will move to next leaf here the next leaf is d right it doesn't match with terminal symbol b right it is terminal symbol d it is not a non terminal right so we cannot expand it it is terminal symbol it is terminal symbol d so what we will do we will backtrack right we will backtrack to the parent node a right
and we will try another production rule for this non-terminal symbol A right and uh, this input pointer will revert back to the position where it was when we first encountered this non-terminal symbol A so when we first encountered this uh, non-terminal symbol A at that time this input pointer was pointing to the terminal symbol C so this input pointer will revert back to its position where it was when we encountered this non-terminal symbol A so now the input pointer is pointing to the terminal symbol C right so what we have done we have done uh, backtracking here in uh, this uh, derivation tree right so we will uh, apply another production rule of non-terminal symbol C right so we will apply this production rule A derives C so this terminal C will become child node of non-terminal symbol A right now here input pointer points to this terminal symbol C and uh, here you can see that uh, next leaf of uh, this uh, tree is also terminal symbol C so here there is a match right so what happens the input pointer will move to one position right right and uh, we will check the next leaf of tree the next leaf of tree is B and input pointer is also pointing to the terminal symbol B so here there is a match right so now the string has been finished right so here the recursive descent parser has uh, constructed the parse tree or derivation tree for this string of terminals right so it means this string of terminals is syntactically correct so in this way this recursive descent parser by using backtracking does syntax analysis of a given string of terminals but it has a drawback also now what is the drawback it will be clear after this example now suppose Uh, same grammar is there as drives a a b a derives c d and a drives c right and we need to do the syntax analysis of uh, this string a c d and b right how we will do the syntax analysis of this string of terminals by recursive descent parser now see as i told first uh, the recursive descent parser what it does it creates a tree consisting of a single node right that is the start symbol of the grammar right and here input pointer will point to the leftmost symbol of the string right so input pointer is pointing to the symbol a now here you can see that there is no match right so we will expand this tree right so we will use the production rule of this uh, symbol as So now A, A, B they have become children of this node S right now here we will check the leftmost leaf of uh, this tree matches with uh, this uh, terminal symbol A which is pointed by input pointer so what happens this uh, input pointer will move one position to the right now input pointer is pointing to the terminal symbol C so again we will match this uh, terminal symbol C with the next leaf so here you can see that there is a mismatch right so here it is a non-terminal symbol A so what we will do we will expand it by using its production rule right suppose here the parser tries this production rule A derives C right so this is expanded by using this production rule a derives c right now the next leaf of the tree is c and uh, the symbol uh, which is pointed by input pointer is also c so there is a match so what happens now the input pointer will move to one position right now the input pointer is pointing to the terminal symbol d 
right so next leaf of the tree will be matched with the uh, symbol which is pointed by input pointer so here you can see that there is mismatch right uh, it is not a non-terminal symbol it is a terminal symbol B right so we cannot expand it by using production rule so here there is a mismatch so we need to do the backtracking right we should move to its uh, parent node that is the symbol S and we have to try the another production rule of symbol S to expand the tree but here there is no other production uh, rule of start symbol S right so here we will get an error right so it means uh, according to this uh, recursive descent parser this uh, string of terminals A C D B it is syntactically incorrect right this cannot be generated by this grammar according to recursive descent parser but it is not true right this string can be generated from this grammar right how let us see this derivation tree if the production rules have been applied in this order first we had applied this production rule as derives a a b right and then we had applied this production rule to expand the tree a drives cd right then we could get the correct result right we could get that this uh, string of terminals is syntactically correct but first we since we had applied this production rule a drive c so we got incorrect result right so this is the drawback of recursive descent parser right because uh, the order in which uh, production rules are applied to construct the derivation tree it affects the result right so this is the drawback of recursive descent parser